fire. It's bright and sunny out here, isn't it? G'day beautiful people, my name's Simon, I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. Today I'm taking a quick trip to a town about 50 kilometres away in order to do my driver's medical. It's the sort of thing that you've got to do when you drive a B-double, which for those not in Australia, um, that's an 85 foot long or 26 metre long uh, semi-trailer with two trailers it's also a requirement if you drive a road train which is uh, up to 53 meters long on a roundabout when you're going straight you don't indicate to the right you indicate to the left whenever you exit a roundabout it does not matter where you entered and exited that roundabout, you always exit with an indication to the left. Look at this gorgeous old building here, the old Grafton Jail. Absolutely beautiful old building. I'd love to go and have a bit of a look around it, but I don't know if they'll allow you to do that yet. I don't know if it's still got people in there or not. I'd love to go and have a look through it. In fact, when I go on my, um, my journey very shortly, I wouldn't mind going to visit the um, Maitland Jail. The old Maitland Jail is fascinating. I was saying the other day a uh, little bit, saying a little bit about doing uh, doing a bit of a trip. So I've got an upcoming trip. I have five weeks off work starting in early March and I'm going out on the road, on the bike for five weeks straight. Camping, most of it, um, either using a hammock or using a tent just getting out and um, exploring the country, seeing what's going on and, um, you know, enjoying not driving a truck, really. Beautiful bit of countryside around here, it really is. I love this old house that's here on the corner. The old shed beside it as well, but um, this is one of those original duplex style places with two front doors because the house was originally split into two halves. Probably still is, but um, beautiful place. Lucky I can still get that ferry. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Hey, mate. It's one of the good things about being in the country. You couldn't imagine a ferry in somewhere like, uh, you know, a city or something. Not that there's that many ferries in the city like that, but where they'd actually open the 
boom gates back up for you. Probably because he heard me coming or he saw me coming, one or the other, but um, I thought that was really nice that he did that. I mean, it's only a short ferry ride, but um, still, I mean, that's an extra 15 minutes or so of just sitting there. Here, somewhere up around the bend, is the area they call the Broadwater, just past McLean. And uh, absolutely huge, like a giant lake, just as part of the river. It's really cool. So, if you're into Urbex like I am, um, on my Urbex YouTube channel, Urbex by Air, U R B E X. B-Y-A-I-R, all is one word. You'll see my drone footage around in that place over the back there, which used to be a quarry. I need to have a look at that shed one day too. But the old quarry up there um, was closed in the 1970s. It's basically all overgrown, but we have got a couple of nice drone shots looking over uh, McLean over there, which are up on the Facebook and Instagram for Urbex by Air. I'll leave a link up there. Bridge. township of McLean, the Scottish town as they call it. And as I go around you'll see on the telegraph poles they've got all the Scottish tartans painted on there. There's actually one from my family as well, from the McCallum family, which is my mum's side. It's a pretty little town. Some beautiful old buildings in it too. couple of quirky little shops here as well that uh, they go out of their way to make awesome little displays in the windows. It's fun to walk down here at night and just look through the windows at the shops. Another year's, uh, or another three years, driver's medical taken care of. Well, let's go up and have a quick look at the, uh, see if the tartan's been repainted. Pretty sure it's the last one along here. 